And when you use a sweatshirt in my method two of fitting, where you see the sweatshirt simply as fabric once you cut it all apart, oftentimes you don't have as much length as you wish you might have, as you can see that I achieved in this hot pink jacket. Let me share with you exactly how I go about doing it by adding a yoke. You can see in this picture where I have totally taken the sweatshirt apart and folded it so that it's on straight grain. And yes, you see it's not even edged at all. That's just how off-grain sweatshirts are actually created in the factories. We're using it as fabric, remember. Now, if you look there at the side where I've got my cutting ruler, I only have available, if I put the whole pattern piece on, there from the neck up to the shoulder around the armhole, and I'm going to cut it as long as I possibly can, I would have 12 inches of length at the side seam. However, if I scooch that pattern piece up, folding down the very top of it, so that I know I'm going to create that folded down part of it out of another fabric, and still maintain the width that's needed right there at the very bottom of the arm's eye over to the front. Now you can see I would have 16 inches of length. Let me go ahead to explain a little bit more how I do the yoke. Here then you can see that I have scooched it up and look how much length I have at the underarm over there at the far left of the left picture. I have folded down the part of the pattern piece that I simply cannot fit on to the fabric, and I have cut across, allowing for a seam allowance across the top. These pictures really show that quite well. At the left, you can see the seam allowance that I have left at the top for the bottom portion of that front of the jacket, and then at the right, cutting the yoke part out of polar fleece, again, I have left a seam allowance. You can see here that I'm telling you to cut the yoke parts out of polar fleece, but going across those yoke pieces is the lengthwise grain of the polar fleece so that it's not stretchy going across. And in addition to that, look at the cream colored strips across the very top of the lower pieces. That is straight fusible stay tape that I have fused to those edges so that when you lap and join these two edges, you don't have a stretching going on. That's just really proven to be a good practice. And of course, you can add length at the bottom of the sweatshirt fleece as well. I have complete directions for doing that in my devoted pattern booklet.